Hi guys, Vincent here. Today, I am doing a review on a new cloud-based software, called AutoNARS. Every marketer, worth their salt, is using automated webinars, but, the software to do this, costs you hundreds of dollars every single month. Brett Rotecki being a seasoned marketer, and product developer, has released AutoNARS to solve that very problem. With AutoNARS. 1. You do not need to be at any of your webinars. 2. You pay a small, one-time fee. 3. You have no limit on the number of people who can attend. And, the best thing about the software is that, the camp agent is easy to set up. It helps you to boost your sales. It can be playing, and replaying whilst you sleep. The software has been made by people who already use webinars to make thousands of dollars, so they really know the ins and outs of what is needed. Before AutoNARS, you would have had to pay around $400 every year for even the cheapest software that could do this. AutoNARS is going on sale today for a lifetime fee. Do not miss this one, or you will regret it. Webinar has been widely accepted as the best way of engaging potential customers. But, using webinars is not some sort of magic bullet that will sell products for you. Having said that, studies have shown that, marketers who use webinars to engage their audience are getting more sales in the long run. In fact, many have credited webinars as being the secret source in their success. Even so, the cost of running and hosting a webinar can be quite excessive, especially if you are new, just starting off. This is where AutoNARS comes in. This piece of software lets you run automatic webinars for a small, one-time fee. To really understand the power of AutoNARS, you need to understand some of the difficulties that people face when they are creating webinars. When you are running a live webinar presentation, it is sometimes difficult getting enough sign-ups to make it worthwhile. Many of the times you end up presenting for just one or two people on any call. Even if you do get a lot of sign-ups, that does not always translate to people actually attending. Producing a live webinar is not only stressful, but it really eats into your time. If you look at what current marketer is doing, running three or four webinars a day, then you really cannot compete with that without taking a significant amount of your time in order to do it. AutoNARS lets you set up a webinar from a recorded video, which is played as live. These have also been known as automatic or evergreen webinars in the past. The point is that people can sign up to a time slot that is most convenient for them and the webinar will run automatically. Not only that, you can also choose how people will interact with the webinar on screen. You can have people email in any questions that they get, provide a call to action. Simulate the amount of people who are attending, and provide handouts at a set time, during the call. All of these, are features that you might find in some of the more expensive, webinar tools. This really is the best part of the software. The fact is, if you are using, go to webinar, webinar jam, or, webinar ninja, you would be paying monthly, more than the one-time fee for the AutoNARS software. Coupled with that, the software interface is very simple. There are step-by-step -step instructions included that will have you up and running in as short a space of time as possible. So, what do I think of this overall? If you want to take part in the webinar revolution, but previously have been priced out of the market, then this tool really is for you. Perhaps you have thought about running your own webinars that were put off by the price of the software or the complexity. You will find that AutoNARS is the cheap and easy to use alternative that can get you creating evergreen webinars that will really boost your engagement and your sales. What I like are 1. Very simple to use. 2. No extra fees if more people join. 3. Really converts. Many marketers are using this already. 4. Dead cheap. A real no-brainer. 5. Timed features really boost engagement. What I do not like is not quite as many features as the very expensive tools but will get you up and running. I think, everyone should take a moment to watch the following demo, and see the features explained in the video. And in this video, I want to show you how to use the AutoNARS main dashboard. So when you go ahead and click on the webinars button right here, you're going to be taken to a screen that looks similar to this. Now if you don't have any AutoNARS already created, you're obviously not going to see anything in here. And you can go ahead and click on the create new button in order to create a new AutoNAR. Simply click on the create new button, enter in the name of your AutoNAR, click on create, 
and it will go ahead and create your new auto owner. They're going to be listed here in alphabetical order. So there's a couple of buttons on the right hand side underneath the options. And most of these should be pretty obvious. The edit button is obviously to edit the settings of your AutoNAR. The delete button is to go ahead and delete your AutoNAR. And then the get links is to get the links for your AutoNAR. Now there are three links and I want to explain what each one is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the get links button. And you're going to see there is three links that are provided. So the first one and the most commonly used one is going to be your sign up URL. So this is the URL you would send traffic to in order to get them to sign up for your AutoNAR and then opt into your list via the sign up. This URL requires people to actually sign up in order to get to the playing part of the AutoNAR where the presentation is shown. If people have already signed up, you can send them to this URL right here. Now that URL will only work if people have already signed up for your AutoNAR. If they haven't signed up, or if they've closed the browser, or if they've reset their cookies, then this URL will take them to the sign up URL because they won't be registered as a signed up user. What the direct URL is actually good for is if you want to send an automatic autoresponder message with your autoresponder as soon as people sign up to remind them to go and watch the actual presentation. The final URL is your replay URL. Now your replay URL doesn't require any sign up at all. It also doesn't actually keep the feel of a webinar. The replay URL is very clearly a replay of your presentation, but it will have a call to action button on optionally a timer. And if you like, it can have a section where people can ask questions to you via email. On the left hand side here you can see three more options. So the first one is to view the stats for your auto number. So if I go ahead and click on this little graphic that looks like a chart, it will show me the stats for this particular auto number. I can see the number of signups, the lifetime signups, the page hits, the signup page conversion. I can see who's clicking and where they're clicking. And of course I can see seven day traffic stats as well. On the very bottom of this pop-up, you can see there is an option to reset the stats. So if you're running multiple campaigns, you can go ahead and click on the reset stats button after one campaign is done. So that way your old stats don't uh, mix in with the new stats from a new campaign. The icon that looks like an envelope is going to show you all of the people that signed up for your AutoNAR and it's going to allow you to download them as well. Finally, you can go ahead and click on the name of your AutoNAR if you want to change the name of it. So if I clicked on the name of this, it would allow me to change the name to something else. So we'll click on Save and Update, and it will update the name of my AutoNAR. In order to edit your AutoNAR, simply click on the Edit button. Now from this point there are three sections where you can enter in settings and the settings are pretty much going to be straightforward I think. Uh, for example, presenter's name is obviously going to be your name or the name of the person that's running the webinar. Headline text is going to obviously be the headline text. It's going to be what is the webinar about. Things like background color, text color, all of that is pretty obvious. But if you need help with what any of these specific settings are, you can go ahead and mouse over this question mark and it will show you exactly what is expected to be entered in that section. Now, as I said, there are three sections. The first section is the sign up settings. This is the sign up page for your webinar. The second section is going to be the main settings. These are all the main settings for your webinar for your actual presentation. These settings also should be pretty self-evident, but there are a couple of settings that I do want to specifically point out. So the first one is going to be the video and redirect. So your AutoNAR is basically a video. It's an automated webinar, so it's a video that runs. Uh, people cannot pause the video. People cannot edit the video. It gives them the webinar experience without you actually having to be there. But at some point, the video is going to end. The AutoNAR is going to be over. And the video end direct is going to be where you're going to send people after the video ends. You can automatically redirect them somewhere. Generally speaking, if you're promoting a product, this is going to be your affiliate link. Because after the webinar is over, you're going to want them to go to your affiliate link so they could possibly make a purchase. So what you would put in here is your affiliate link or a link to your product if you're promoting one of your own products. Also in here, you can see redirect URL and call to action button. 
So you can actually have a call to action button that shows, for example, if you're promoting a product, at some point you're going to want to say, hey, go ahead and click the button to buy it. And that would be your call to action button. You can have your button show at a certain number of seconds inside of the video. So if I wanted to show after one minute, I would type in 60 seconds right here. And then the call to action button text, of course, is the text that shows in the button. And then the redirect URL is going to be the URL that they go to if they click on that button. Now, the last setting that's of particular importance that I really want to point out is this question email setting. So a big part of webinars is the fact that people can interact with you. They can ask you questions and you can answer them. That is really one of the main important points of webinars. So AutoNARS allows people to ask you questions. There's actually two ways they can ask you questions. The first thing you need to do though in order to get questions is enter in an email. So you enter in your email address and anytime somebody asks a question, that question will be sent to you via email. And what I like to do is actually enter in my Gmail address so that way I get an, a notice on my phone if somebody asks a question, I can answer right from my phone. So I don't even have to be at my computer or anything while this is running and I can answer their questions in real time. Underneath that, you're going to see something called smart question filtering. And what this does is it, it filters out short questions. So if somebody just answers like yes, or somebody answers like I do, or something like that, which is basically just them interacting with the webinar, you don't want to get emails for that because there's really no question there. So you can go ahead and turn smart question filtering on or off to filter out those short one word messages that are generally just going to be them interacting with the webinar and not asking you an actual question. Underneath that is another important setting, which is answer type. So whenever somebody asks you a question, you're going to get an email about that question. But how you want to answer them is up to you. So you can either answer them via email, so your answer will actually go to their email address, or if you're going to answer them quickly and you know you're going to answer them quickly, you can actually change the answer type to live answer. And instead of the email that you send out going to their inbox, it will actually go to the webinar and show on the webinar screen. So you can answer people in live real time why they're on your AutoNAR. This is a powerful feature that makes your AutoNAR just as interactive as a real live webinar. Only, of course, you don't actually have to be there. The third section here is for your extra settings, and this is for your autoresponder integration. So we actually integrate with MailIt, AWeber, MailChimp, and GetResponse. And, of course, if you use a different autoresponder, you can go ahead and download your list. And there's also settings here for your auto-generated replay page. So AutoNARS will automatically generate a replay page for your webinar, and you can go ahead and enter in any button text for your call to action button and a timer if you want to have a timer. However, you'll see there's a button on the upper right hand corner that says load pre-made webinar. Go ahead and click on that button, and it's going to bring up all of the pre-made webinars that are available to you. Depending on the account level you have, you'll see a different number of pre-made webinars inside of here. Simply select the one you want. And generally, these webinars are going to allow you to promote these particular products as an affiliate. So go ahead and select the one you want. For example, I'm going to go ahead and select my Affiliate Tracks promo. I'll click on Load Webinar Settings. And it will automatically load all the settings for that webinar. So you now have a done for you webinar. There are only a couple of settings that you actually have to manually enter. And this is because it's going to vary for each individual person. The settings that you have to manually enter are going to be your affiliate links. So if you go over to the main settings, you can see that the redirect URL in the main settings is left blank. And that's because you want this redirect URL to be your affiliate link. So generally, you would put in your affiliate link inside of the redirect URL settings. Also, the question email is left blank because you need to enter in your own question email. You'll also want to put your affiliate link in the video end redirect. So that way, after the AutoNAR ends, people will automatically redirect via your affiliate link and you'll get credit if they make a purchase. Finally, over in the extra settings, you're going to want to put your affiliate link in the replay button URL. This way, if you send people to the replay and they click on the buy button, you will get credit as the affiliate and earn a commission. Besides entering your question email and entering your affiliate link in the particular button URLs, that is all that you have to do is to use a pre-made webinar. Simply click on the load pre-made webinar button, select the product that you want to promote, enter in your affiliate link and question email, click save and exit, and you have an AutoNAR done for you and ready to go. So, if AutoNAR's softwares look like they can help your online business, 
then do check this out on my link. Hopefully this can help in your buying decision.